Let's take a look at the structures that we can see in a sagittal section through the head. This is the nasal cavity. This is the hard palate. This is the soft palate. This is the tongue. This is your esophagus, and this is your trachea. Above the trachea, we can find structures that make up what's known as the larynx. And here are a few landmarks. This is the cricoid cartilage in, in sagittal section. This is the epiglottis, tip of the epiglottis. So if we look at this structure, the trachea, and the inside surface of the larynx, this tube only contains air. Air will pass through the glottis, which is the opening into the airway, and then pass through larynx and through trachea and enter the lungs. The borders of the glottis include the tip of the epiglottis and this, which is the arytenoid cartilage. The region directly behind that glottis is called the laryngopharynx. It's the part of the throat that opens into the larynx. This is the tongue and the oral cavity. Directly behind it is known as the oral pharynx. This is the soft palate. This is the nasal cavity. The region directly behind the soft palate is called the nasopharynx. You can find a tonsil called a pharyngeal tonsil. You can see an opening for the eustachian tube in the walls of the nasopharynx. So the nasopharynx is continuous with the oropharynx, which is continuous with the laryngopharynx. From that point, air can pass down an airway, or food and fluid can pass down the esophagus.